So glad I'm be taking this thing apart. <laughs> Gonna drill it! Gonna drill it! Ah! I was just kidding. All right, what I like to do is we're going to be taking the part this Xbox, and uh, I have a, a client of mine. Um, her son stuffed a bunch of CDs, CDs into the front slot here, and uh, I feel real bad for the woman. So what we're going to do is um, take this apart very slowly. And uh, she mentioned to me that she used a... A butter knife to try to stick uh, to try to stick her you know butter knife inside the front of the slot to try to see if she can get it out however she's not too far off I pretty much use a butter knife as well but the only difference that I'm going to be doing is that I use to use I use hockey tape to protect the butter knife so it doesn't mar up the device I mean it works per it'll work perfect so what I do is I stick it like this on the butter knife like this and I fold it down so now I have a prying tool but it's protected <laughs> with this tape because it's cloth and we want to be able to protect the uh, the unit so first things first we're going to try to pry this thing open here using the butter knife. There we go. There's that one there's that one part taken off. No problem whatsoever. Hmm. This is interesting. This has been taken apart once before. There's a piece here missing. So this has been taken apart or attempted to. If you noticed, um, the warranty sticker is still here. I'm going to attempt to take that off um, ever so gently. Um, I may use a hair dryer to try to get this off and uh, try to be successful with it. Okay, as you can see, I got the warranty sticker off. I'm not sure if I did it successfully. Probably not. <laughs> but uh, the device is actually out of warranty anyway. So the next step you want to do is to push down on this portion here and lift up on here and then you'll hear it snap like so and then at the same time with your butter knife tool that you created haha <laughs> let's continue separating it down the line here My finger got caught. Tends to be a little painful. <laughs> I'm finding it difficult to do it with the camera in the way. Ooh, am I bleeding? Apparently I cut myself. All right, so let's continue with taking this apart it's it's apparently a bear as you can see it's all there's no there's no tools really per se that's required because there's no screws i mean there are there are torque screws on the inside t8 but that's all you need and everything else is just snapped together essentially it's like a fisher price toy all right so i'm going to step away from the microphone for a second and i'm going to try to muscle this thing out
All right, so you want to go push in and then out, like up, like that. And working these clips. Well, that went a little too far in. She, she's dead, Jim. <laughs> wow, this is really a pain in the neck. This one's much harder than the other ones that I've actually worked on. There we go. We're getting there. Definitely seems like somebody's been in this before. There we go. Holy macaroni. All right, so now that you got the, well, I got the case off. <laughs> you have to be very careful. There is a connection in the front of it that you need to uh, disconnect. I'm going to try to show you in, in right now. There's a rip. There's a ribbon cable. If you can hear me, guys, you gotta be very careful with this ribbon cable because it can rip. So what we want to do is just pop this out. These two little tabs here, and the ribbon cable will slide out. Okay, now you could uh, clearly see that I got the cover off, and that ribbon cable is very fragile. It is right there. And you have to pull this blue thing off of the connector first. That's like kind of a preventing it from accidentally, I guess, jostling out for someone who really understand why they even use this. This is terrible design. Microsoft should get slapped. Microsoft should get schooled by Apple. <laughs> Too bad Apple don't make a console. They'd probably make it really skinny. All right, so now, as you can clearly see, everything is, here's the speaker that the Xbox makes noises with. So it's a little, it looks like a headphone speaker. So what we need to do is unscrew these Torx and uh, remove this silver cover, but we need to take the Wi-Fi off first. So the Torx wrenches that you're gonna need are T9 and T10. T10 is for, these and uh, for the Wi-Fi it's a T9 all right now we're going to remove the RF board now you have to be careful you have to lift this thing straight up because it's actually it's plugged into a header and you can clearly see the header pins are right here so we're going to remove these two torque screws and then pull straight up and then we might as well disconnect the uh, Wi-Fi cable but you watch what I do. Next, we're going to be taking out these uh, Torx screws. There's a total of eight of them, and they're marked with a letter C in front of them, and it's C1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So you need to take all those out. Doesn't matter what order you do it in either. This happens to be C4. Clear! Boom! <laughs> oh, by the way, this was the... Bluetooth board. I may I said Wi-Fi. I wasn't clear. Just in case, this is the the Bluetooth uh, controller, Wi-Fi, uh, Wi-Fi Bluetooth device. All 
All right, so this is technically off, so we just got to be real careful. Oh, I missed one, and uh, which is actually right by the Bluetooth board, and this will come right up. And you got to be real careful because that where that device, the Bluetooth board, plugs into, there's a ribbon cable that connects to the motherboard. So we got to be real careful. I just disconnected that for good measure to get it out of the way. Since someone stuffed in a bunch of uh, discs in this slot drive, we're going to have to remove the slot drive itself and inspect that as well. So there is a SATA cable and a power yellow uh, ribbon cable. Well, not really a ribbon cable. It's a cable for the power. I'm going to spin it around so you can see. So you can clearly see there's the power and there's the SATA cable. And for those who are interested, now you can see where the hard drive is. If you ever needed to replace it, it's a Samsung drive. All right, so now we're going to remove the Blu-ray drive, rather, I should say. And this thing will just literally just slide right off, right up. And dis we'll, we're going to disconnect the cables first, and then we're going to pull this right out. And be careful, the SATA hard drive is just sitting there. You don't want to bump into that. Okay, now we actually took out the, the, the DVD drive or the Blu-ray di disc that we need taken out. So now we're going to put the Xbox aside and work on just the DVD, uh, the Blu-ray drive. I keep calling it a DVD. Sorry. All right, so this plastic piece just pops right off. Take note of the positioning. Not that you really need to know it because there's a plastic nipple here. Kind of lines up with that hole. So now we want to, we need to take this thing apart and see what kind of damage was done on the inside. So we'll need to peel off this, um, they call it a braid, and it, and it's like, so we just screws underneath here, we'll have to take these screws out, and uh, that's what we're going to do right now. Okay, I'm actually um, putting the Xbox One back together again. I didn't want to make a detailed disassembly of the Blu-ray drive, but uh, it was very extensive, and um, I did find a foreign object inside the drive um, which was this um, which I'm not really quite sure what it is <laughs> because it's just a foreign object but um, that was inside the DVD drive and the uh, Blu-ray drive and uh, I removed it uh, I'm putting back the uh, the drive of uh, the whole Xbox back together again now um, the DVD drive seems to be working it loaded a a computer disc, a computer DVD with no problem. I have to put the front cover back on because of the um, the eject button is there, but it loaded it with no problem whatsoever. So I'll be doing a test later. So I'm just um, putting the screws back in, putting all the connectors back on. Um, the drive appears to function. The client was concerned that there was multiple discs shoved inside of it, uh, which clearly wasn't the case. It was this for an object. I, I opened it up and I saw it. It's like, I've actually never been inside of one of the Blu-ray uh, drives, but uh, that was the first time. And it appeared to function properly. This is like the hardest thing to do, especially if you're blind like me. There we go. 
That's in. That's in. That was a joke, by the way. I'm not blind. <laughs> so you put these uh, eight screws back in. One of the hardest things that I've noticed that you have to do is putting that ribbon cable back on for the front cover. That is one of the hardest things ever. Taking it off is easy. Holding mackerel, putting it back on is so tough. This is definitely not for the amateur. You need to have some sort of, um, I guess, knowledge on how to do that because you can rip it. It is very, very delicate, and you can tear that. Once you tear that, you just throw the whole back box away. I don't think anybody sells that. And if they do, what a pain in the neck it would be to reinstall it on the front of that. All right, so we put that back on. We put that screw in there. By the way, the screwdriver for this is actually a T8. For some reason, I think my T9 is worn out. And this is a T9. And it works perfectly fine. Um, but And also the T9s work fine with these as well. I set a T10, which is right here. T10 and the T10 works here too. So which was really wacky. But nonetheless, we are back together again now. The All right, I find it easier to actually remove the front bezel off. The previous owner apparently broke the bejesus out of this thing. <laughs> so the front is a little wacky. But um, we should be able to get this on back on with no trouble whatsoever. Well, that's good news. Let's pop it back in again. Make sure it loads. Yay. Now, remember, it's a Windows CD. Eject. Perfect. So this is what the foreign material was. A piece of metal. Okay, we have successfully loaded Minecraft on the repaired Xbox. Let's um, get out of it. Please eject. There it is. Here's my son's Xbox. Pop it back in again. I didn't sync up a uh, Bluetooth controller. I just plugged it in US uh, via USB. So, looks good. Playing no problem. Well, I can read this part. I have to sign into Xbox, but we're not going to do that. So take care, guys. Foreign object in the Blu-ray player. 
Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed um, the disassembly of the Xbox One gaming console. Um, it was a little bit unusual. I did want to go into grave detail about the DVD-ROM drive. Oh, God, I did it again. <laughs> the Blu-ray drive, uh, because it, it required me to do intricate <coughs> dissection uh, of the... It's a very complicated uh, drive. Um, I had to take literally the whole thing apart. I mean, everything, including the uh, the shock mount that the uh, laser and motor reside on. A couple of uh, gears came loose. Um, it's just it's it's very intricate, detailed, uh, and uh, I guess dissection pretty much. I had to take the control board off disconnect a couple of ribbon ca three ribbon cables on it I just didn't want to go into into detail on that I, I apologize for not showing it it's just that I, there's no way for me to record that in in my studio it was it was just I needed to have um, I guess a camera that was looking over me if I had a um, a cameraman I guess that could have happened but at, at, the, at, at the present time I do not but however hope you enjoyed this video um, if you liked it, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Please don't do thumbs down. It was pretty detailed. I thought it was pretty good. And uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much, and have a happy Thanksgiving. Drill it! Gonna drill it! Ah!